independently. Okay, these are all three different questions, so let's start with this one. What was What's one thing Bob would do differently building his business? Um, not much, honestly. Um, of course, knowing what I know now, I would have not chose to pollinate quite as much in the early years. I thought that's where all the money was. And um, in the last half of my career, I've learned how to, uh, I've learned really well, actually, how to make bees and sell bees. And I prefer that. I would have done more of that in the beginning. Um, I, I always recommend, and I guess this is part of part of maybe what she's asking. I always recommend to people that are trying to go into business and make money at bees to diversify and not just depend on one type of income. Yeah. There's lots of things you can do. You can pollinate, legit. I made a lot of money pollinating. Then there's honey production, and you've got you know honey packaging, buying honey and packing it. And you've got the making of bees, making nukes, perhaps making packages. And these days I'm actually uh, selling colonies a lot. You know, I'll produce a colony and use it for a few years and then sell it. Kind of like driving a car for a few years and then selling it while it's still a good car. And by yeah. doing that, I'm continuously turning my equipment over. So when you look at our outfit, we don't have any, uh, I should say, very little old ratty equipment because we're always turning it over. Um, so uh, that's about all I do different. Not not much. I don't think I've really done anything wrong, honestly. Just uh, kind of learned how to make money a little better along the way. Yeah. So the next mm -hmm. part of, it, of uh, her question is, what's his best advice for someone who wants to make a profit in beekeeping? Well, I think I just said that, actually, and that is to diversify. If you depend on just honey production and you have a year like you're experiencing this year and it's not all that great, it can be kind of hard to pay land payments and truck payments and things like that. And that's where the diversification comes in. That's really kind of what got me into uh, to making bees, you know, so a couple of decades yeah. back, uh, you know, had payments that had to be made. And, you know, it's obvious that some years are better than others when you're producing honey. And I hit upon this idea of selling nukes and even in a bad year, I might not have done well by, you know, uh, diversifying with selling bees, but at least I made it survive the season, so to speak, uh, you know, survive to live and fight another day. Yeah, you know, when you're a, when you're a honey producer, you kind of got to ride a wave, you know, some years are great, some years are poor. And uh, a lot of, I've known several beekeepers that, you know, had 10 or 15 or 50 colonies and had a few really good years and got out the calculator and said, gee whiz, I can make a lot of money at this and borrowed a bunch of money and went into business and into debt and, and suddenly uh, have a couple of bad years in a row. And a couple of them literally went bankrupt, you know, lost their outfit and one guy lost his home and partnerships uh, dissolved and all kinds of things. So that's where the diversification comes. And I think diversifying is important unless you have the financial uh, wherewithal to ride the wave. I think you have to look at honey production from a 10 year average, not just, you know, a couple of good years and a bad year. Just, you need to look at what the average would be for 10 years or so before you start figuring out your finances with honey. Yeah. 